What's up guys, this is Ash from The Case Theory. Today we're going to take a look at the new MagSafe charger for the iPhone. Last week during the Apple event where they announced the iPhone 12, Apple introduced MagSafe, which is essentially a new technology that is built into the entire lineup from the iPhone 12 mini all the way to the iPhone 12 Pro Max. So what exactly is MagSafe? As you know, we used to charge our phones using the charging cable that comes together in the iPhone box. So the people at Apple decided to invent a technology that makes the iPhone compatible to wireless charging. After the iPhone X onwards, you have the option between charging your devices as per normal or use the wireless charging pad. The latter requires you to simply place the back of the iPhone against the pad. However, you have to ensure that the phone is aligned at the right spot. Otherwise, it will not charge. So MagSafe is basically an upgraded and supposedly better version of the wireless charging compatibility technology. With MagSafe, Apple included magnets inside the iPhone so that each time when you place the phone on a MagSafe charger, it will automatically align it for you at the exact sweet spot for the most optimal charging of up to 15 watts of power. Besides being used for wireless charging, the magnets are also able to mount cases as well as accessories. To support this new technology, Apple created the MagSafe charger, which essentially is a magnetic wireless charger. I was just arrived a shot while ago, so let's take a first look at it. There's nothing fancy about the packaging. On the front side, you'll find a picture of the MagSafe charger itself. The reverse side shows that the charger comes with a USB-C cable and also some visual presentation of the wireless charging. To unbox, simply pull the tab at the top. There is another folder inside which opens two-way to reveal the charger, which is attached to the USB-C cable that is about a meter long. At the time of this video, the iPhone 12 is still in pre-order, hence we're just trying out the MagSafe charger with the iPhone 11 and a few cases. Do also note that for this test, we're using a third-party charging brick from Ugreen. The first test would be to find out if we are able to charge the iPhone 11 using the MagSafe charger. Once the back of the phone is placed on the charger, the screen lights up and started charging. So we can safely deduce that despite being built to support the MagSafe feature, the MagSafe charger can also be used to charge devices that has Qi wireless charging compatibility. We shall now try and test to see if the iPhone will charge with the Nomad Rugged case installed. Despite having the case on, the phone was able to charge without having any issues. This could possibly be due to the slim and slick design of the Nomad Rugged case. We cannot tell however if the same will happen for thick cases like other box. So the final case that we're trying on today would be the Rebel case which has built-in magnets on its back. Let us install the case before we go ahead with the test. Not only does the phone charge very well, the case is also able to attach itself to the MagSafe charger, just the way we'd imagine it to be. So, if you're holding on to the previous generation iPhones and wish to have something similar to the MagSafe functions, simply get a case with some kind of built-in magnets. You could also check out the Mag Easy case by Pitaka. Links will be provided in the description. So that's it guys, the first impression video on the MagSafe charger. Hope you guys liked the video and thank you for watching. Once we get our hands on the new iPhone and the cases, there'll be a lot of reviews coming up for you guys. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Till then, see you in the next one.